Hey guys, Bridget here and in this video we're going to talk about uh, variants and uh, how to use them effectively. Now, variants are really useful when it comes to creating one element uh, and uh, you can create a different type of variants uh, just uh, in one single area of your Figma file and then repeat it. So for example, this can be really useful for elements such as buttons, input fields, toggle switches, radio buttons and much much more. So let's go ahead and let's create uh, our very first uh, variant. So we're going to start uh, by creating uh, a simple button. So we're going to write uh, over here button and we're going to use Montserrat as uh, the font. And uh, this, uh, you know, you can literally like select any font that you want really for this example. And we're going to make it uh, semi bold. I just like Montserrat. Um, as a font uh, as this. Now, what we're gonna do next is we're going to make this an outer layout. So we're going to click on Shift plus A. And uh, as you can see, now we have uh, this button as the outer layout. And why this is really cool is because uh, you're going to be able to essentially make this uh, um, element responsive and uh, as you type in you can literally resize the button very very easily and quickly so definitely something to keep in mind uh, as it's going to will you to just work more easily now let's uh, go over here and let's change uh, the background color let's make this uh, white and what we're gonna do next is we're also going to round up uh, this uh, button just a, a bit now let's go ahead and let's duplicate this uh, button and what we're gonna do is we're going to select both uh, of these buttons. Now the very next step uh, is to make this uh, button a master component. So we're gonna click uh, here and as you can see we have uh, this as the master component since we have the four dots here and we're going to duplicate this uh, in order to create an instance which is uh, this uh, rectangle with just the outline. Now, when we're gonna do this, uh, you can see that the moment we select uh, uh, both of these frames, we're going to have uh, the variant option. So we can click on plus, uh, and as you can see, now we have uh, these two buttons as variants. So what this means uh, is that uh, now we're going to have a master button and we can create uh, the different variants. So let's go ahead and let's uh, change this uh, text to blue and we're going to make this uh, 10% and uh, we can also create another variant uh, by simply selecting one of these uh, and uh, we can duplicate them um, in right inside of the variants panel and what I'm gonna do before doing that is I'm going to simply increase the height of, uh, the, um, of this frame right here so let's duplicate it, let's bring them here. So as you can see, the different variants can be pretty much anywhere that you want uh, inside of this panel. Now let's change the fill of this to white. And I'm going to make it 100%. And uh, as you can see, we can uh, literally just keep uh, all of these variants inside. And if uh, we don't have enough space, uh, we're basically going to uh, have like this cropped view um, pretty much. So one thing that you're going to notice is that whenever you select one of these uh, variants uh, is that we're going to have this uh, element on the side menu. Now here we can change uh, the name of the variant. So for example, we can rename this to blue or even give it a more descriptive name such as button blue or something around those lines. But since uh, we're going to have the basic uh, button um, named on uh, on top. You're, you're going to see that in the components panel in just a moment. Um, I think we're good to go with that. We can also add a description and a documentation link. These are optional. This can be useful though, especially if you're creating a large design system. This is going to be quite useful. So we're going to write here light blue and for this one we're going to write uh, white. All right. So as you can see, we have uh, our variants and now you might be asking, okay, let's say that uh, I'm in another page in a design file and uh, let's uh, and I want to use one of these buttons. How do I do that, Pierre? Well, the answer is really easy. You simply go under assets. And uh, as you can see, the only element which you're going to see is the blue button. 
and uh, it's also going to re be renamed as frame one. Now, the moment we write button, we go back to the assets, you can see that here we have uh, the name button. So we can easily search it uh, in our design library as well. And uh, you can literally just drag and drop this one single button in the design file. Now, why uh, have we done all this job though? Because we can easily switch the type of button based on the ones that we need at that given moment. So potentially we could have even uh, um, like dozens and dozens of buttons. Imagine, for example, <clears throat> having the need of creating a button for desktop, for tablet, for mobile. You need different versions of this button for all those scenarios. And maybe you also have uh, variations with uh, buttons that have icons. Now you can easily do that uh, directly via the variants and just have one single button for the entire application. So it is going to be a really, really useful thing to do. At this point, you might be asking, uh, how can I create uh, different uh, elements uh, of the, in the side of the variants? So, for example, what I'm referring to is that now what we have uh, um, is basically uh, the different type of colors, but uh, what if we want to actually go ahead and change that variant property? Well, the, the way you do it is by simply going right here and uh, using comma, and then uh, for example, let, let's write size and then large. And what you're going to notice in the variance panel on the right is that now, uh, apart from color, which uh, I added uh, just a moment ago, is that we also have the size, which is large. So we can select uh, this uh, different uh, um, sizes for all of, of the other uh, variants. So let's say that uh, I'm going to need a, a mobile or tablet version of this button right here. Um, I'm just going to make it a bit smaller in size and uh, let's uh, actually, let's go ahead and uh, let's make this a uh, little bit smaller right here. And uh, probably what I want to do with uh, this one is uh, I want to change uh, the um, auto layout features to or settings to 35 by 25 by 25. This is optional. This you can change it how you want. I just want to create a, a smaller version of this button in order to show you how this works. And uh, when it comes to the size, uh, I'm going to call this uh, small. So as you can see, the moment we do this, uh, and uh, I select back uh, the other component. You can see that uh, I can select uh, the color and I can select uh, also the size, which in this case, we only have the blue in small size. The moment I click on small, boom, it's automatically updated. And uh, it's just a very easy way of uh, creating all of the different uh, uh, variants uh, in a fast and efficient way. And I can replicate this uh, for all the other ones really. So one more thing that I want to show you is the toggle switch. So let's go ahead and let's create a toggle variant. So I'm just going to create, a, um, yeah, just a, a rectangle right here. I'm going to make it white, I'm going to add a stroke and uh, we're going to essentially um, make this a component, variants, and here we have our second one. Now let's make this blue, just for the sake of the example. And I'm going to add a second component inside of it, which is going to be white. And uh, what I'm gonna do here is uh, I'm basically going to uh, change the property from, uh, um, let's say, state. I'm going to write true and state false. 
let's write here. Even it's it's not really a toggle. It's more of a checkbox. Let's write. Uh, let's just bring it over here. And as you can see, the moment we wrote uh, true and false uh, within uh, the state, uh, basically gives us this really cool toggle switch. So we can easily toggle between one and two. And of course. If you're going to have more than two, you don't, you won't be able to have the toggle switch. You're simply going to have uh, the drop down option, just like uh, we did uh, right here. But um, if uh, you're working with binary boolean uh, operations, um, you're going to be able to leverage this toggle switch by simply going right here and saying true and saying that the other one is false. So hope this video was helpful. I want to remind you that uh, in my Figma course, I covered this uh, and also much, much more. So if you're interested in uh, checking it out, uh, I'm going to leave the link in the description. And uh, I also have a YouTube channel with over 400 videos, recently launched a free course on how to get started in UI UX design, if you're interested in getting in this field. And um, yeah, hope uh, this was helpful and I'll see you in the next video.